Good evening, YouTube. Um, this is Thursday night. I mean, I'm just gonna do a really quick video because I'm really not feeling well. Um, I was up till four o'clock this morning doing a cheesecake. We're having a ladies' conference at our church Friday night, and um, there is a catered dinner afterwards. And so the ladies of our church is not catering it; we're catering it. There's some business or whatever, but we, you know, we're providing the desserts. And I volunteered to make a dessert. I, I wasn't, Pastor Rice said she didn't want to ask because she knew that I'm going through a lot. And I wanted to do it. I, I like to stay busy. I like to do things. Like I told you guys in previous videos, I just hate to be defined by this cancer or people don't ask for my help in America. They figure because I'm sick. I'm not sick all the time. Just some of the time and I just don't know when I'm going to be sick or whatever you know but um so when I got off work yesterday which was Wednesday I had, I had bought this uh, on my lunch break I went to Walmart and bought the ingredients for it I made a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake so I made a raspberry beret from scratch everything I did from scratch the crust everything because that's just how I roll and when I came home, I was just so tired, you guys. I come home usually. Like usually before I go to work in the morning, I would make dinner in a crock pot for my husband so he would have dinner. And um, and no, he does not make me cook. I like to cook for my husband. I just feel like being sick. I don't do it a lot like I used to. And when I do cook and I have to work, crock pot else. So I started in crock pot before I left. So when I came home, I just made rice and some, you know, and it was done. But I wasn't feeling that great either when I came home. So I went to lay down. Of course, when I let go sit to lay down in my recliner, I fall asleep. It doesn't matter where I'm at, I can fall asleep. So I fell asleep. And when I woke up around 9.30, I'm like, I near, really need to do this cheesecake because it's Friday. I think it starts at 7 or 7.30. And I get off at four, but we have to stay till all our customers are gone. I have to, you know, um, count my drawer down. So sometimes I could be around, I think the soonest I ever gotten out of that place was like 4.10. And the latest, we were like two, y'all, we closed at four. We did not like leave till almost six. Because when it's four o'clock, if there are people still in there, we can lock the door, but we have to service everybody in there so there's 15 people in there we have to do all of them and you know you got those folks and you all might be one of them i hope you're not but we have folks who will come in literally i wish i was lying literally two minutes before we close with some of the four or five titles now mind you we do businesses too so some of them come in and do repo titles or they just want dealer titles 15 you wanted to wait ten, like two minutes before we close. We're open eight to four, literally, and we have to do them. So, yeah. But I got out probably at 4, 13, something like that. And then, so I took it out. So I wanted to go ahead and do the cheesecake starter. Because, you know, if any of y'all made cheesecake, you know, it, it's a process. Because you got to bake it first for a few hours. Then you turn the oven off and you let it sit in the oven with the oven door shut for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your recipe. Then when that's over, you open your door, um, the oven door, and you let it sit another 30 minutes. Then you take it out the oven and you, and me, I do water baths, so I take it all out of that. And I leave it in the pan that I bake it in, though, because usually, you know, in my water baths, I put it in one of those, um, what is it called, crock pot? plastic bags and then foil around that so water does not get in there and touch the cheesecake but i would take that out of all that you know putting on you know the foil and stuff put in the refrigerator overnight so then this morning you know my young to bed at four so i didn't wake up to almost noon like 11 30 guys so i got up and i made my whipped cream you know whipped topping from scratch of course because that's only what whipping cream powder sugar vanilla extract whip it and i piped it and i grated some white chocolate over it and put fresh raspberries on top so it looks really really good but so I got done with that and I, and I 
cleaned up my room and was just like, you know, changing the sheets like I oh, would do Thursday is my clean day. Like washing sheets and all that stuff, doing the bathroom, la 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 la. Um, and then I cleaned the kitchen. I think that's about all you guys, because I started feeling sick. And then around 2.30, pain got really, really bad. A lot, a lot of pain. And if you don't mind, you got my pain patch, see? But, and pills, but it wasn't kicking, so, not the pills, because I didn't take the pills yet, but the pain patch. And I ended up um, having to take a pain pill, and of course, it makes me sleepy. Even more sleeping. So um pain is like 7.58 now night. I'm sort of trying to let up a little bit. So I'm just really tired and I have to work tomorrow. You guys know Tuesday is my last day. So I get off work at one o'clock. I so I work a full day tomorrow, Friday, then Monday a full day, and then Tuesday one, and I'm gone. For good. You know, and then Wednesday morning, start the radiation treatment. The Luther, Luther Thera, I think is how you pronounce it. Luther Thera. And it's IV radiation. So I just wanted to come on here and do a quick video. You guys know, um, it wasn't a good day off like I wanted. I'm just so exhausted. Part of me wish I would have said tomorrow was going to be my last date. But I said Tuesday, so I would do Tuesday. Um, right now, my husband went to church. He's um, playing the drums for the ladies' conference because I guess there ain't no ladies who know how to play the drums. I don't know. I play tambourine, so. But, of course, anybody can play tambourine, I guess. I don't know. So he's there practicing, but I'm glad he's coming because truthfully, if he wasn't going to be doing it, I probably wouldn't have went to the conference because it doesn't, it's at night. I really don't drive anyway. And we, we live like 20 minutes from our church and it's nighttime. Can't see that great anyway at night. And plus a lot of Amish be down that road and they, in their buggies and it's a dark road because there's no lights on it. So I just don't like driving at night. So if it wasn't for him, I probably would have stayed at home. So he's going to go there, and um, he said we're already to go. He just take me home. So I'm so grateful that I have a patient, loving husband. He's an awesome caregiver, you guys. I thank God for him. So, um, yeah, but um, I made the cheesecake, you guys. Hey, if you guys want to see the cheesecake, it looks it's beautiful. I did a story on it on my Instagram, but I'm going to actually do a post because I really... This cake, this cheesecake came out phenomenal. I just like it. You guys have to see it. So go on my Instagram because I do not have Facebook. I used to, but I got rid of it four years ago. So go on my Instagram, and the link is in the box down there. But it's Lady Dawn S Z. That's on Instagram, and um, so and of course like and subscribe, you guys. You know I like coming over here talking to you all. Plus, is a way to talk to my daughters since they don't live here and just let them know how it is in my life. They don't see me, so they don't know if I'm in pain or anything. I really don't answer their phone calls. I just call them later. You know, don't want them to worry more than I always do. But, but anyway, so I'm going to get off here because um, pain meds is sort of making me sleepy. I don't feel drowsy. It's just weird to have pain. But at least now it's manageable. It's like sometimes the, the pain gets so bad, I'm over like sweating, like, and I have the fan and heater on. I mean, not the heater, the fan and air on. And I'm just like, my God, pain, pain, pain. It wouldn't be so bad doing the, not like I want to have cancer, but you can sort of, you adjust with the tiredness, you guys, and everything. But I think the worst part for me, it's a pain. It's the pain. I do not like pain. And the pain sometimes is just off the chart. I got it now where it's bearable, doable, so I can go to bed and fall asleep so I get up in the morning. But I will see you guys 
Mm, pretty won't record again until Saturday or Sunday. So I'll have a video up on Monday. And of course, when I go get my treatment, I'm trying to learn or work with the um, YouTube stories. So I'm still practicing y'all. So give me a break. My daughter, when she came to visit, was supposed to help me, you know, do this here and my granddaughter, but we were so busy and I was tired a lot when they were here. So we're going to try again, or I'm going to try again. So I'm going to try to do like the short story or even a live when I'm doing the treatment. So you guys can see the process. And, uh, and, um, it says it'll be my first time ever doing this. It'll be us doing it together. So I'll just see you guys on a Monday. You guys have a blessed weekend and a great day tomorrow. And remember, every day that you wake up, it's a good day. No matter how much pain I have, I still thank God that I'm here. You guys have a good one.